Robert, an African-American man from Chicago, served in the military as a young man, seeing combat in Iraq and Afghanistan. When he returned, he was haunted by images and memories from the wars. But he went back to regular life. He got a job as a security guard on the overnight shift at a mall, performed well, and was promoted to supervisor. He also got married. But over time, the irregular schedule took a toll on Robert's health and his marriage. He became increasingly stressed out and irritable, and with the overnight shift, he wasn't eating or sleeping well. At work, he began to clash with people, and he was written up by his supervisors. Things continued to spiral downhill, and he began having flashbacks from military combat. He started drinking heavily to deal with his feelings and to try to get some sleep. Robert knew that his mental state was not healthy, but as a child growing up, in the military, and among his co-workers and friends, mental health was never discussed, and he felt it would show weakness or be shameful to visit a therapist or psychiatrist. Plus, he didn't have health insurance. Things just got worse at work. The employees that he supervised and even customers filed reports describing his behavior as erratic and disturbing. And sometimes they could tell he'd been drinking. Eventually, Robert was fired. That made him even more angry, depressed, and anxious. Soon, his wife left him. One night, when Robert felt really off kilter, he went into a liquor store, argued with the clerk, and walked out with several bottles without paying. He was quickly arrested, and because he couldn't pay bail, spent a few weeks in jail. The charges were dropped, but his condition continued to worsen, and a few months later, he was back in jail after an altercation with his neighbors. In jail, he was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety, and depression. He got some medication, but once he was out of jail, he had no care. He still resisted the idea that he needed help, and even if he wanted to see a professional, he didn't have anywhere to go or any way to pay for it. He was evicted from his apartment. He ended up wandering the streets yelling at bystanders, and soon he was arrested and back in jail again. It was a steep fall, and one that maybe could have been prevented with mental health care.